Hey YouTube, it's Aldon, and welcome to episode 22. Last time... Wait a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm just confusing myself. Last time, I talked to Caden. That was fun. We learned about Bot. It's pretty awesome. And this episode, we are going to talk to Tally. And that may be it, because Tally has a lot of stuff to say. So this week is talk week. I mentioned that yesterday. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a Like has been said before, uh, it's a combination a ago, of the best of Turian and Alliance ships. Ship the it's the best of both. It's a stealth now, ship and it's all I'm awesome and things. I don't think it's uh, in advanced in any particular way, weapon-wise or armor-wise, but Tackling it's mostly the stealth, like but it's still a darn good a ship. For me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. Well, of course she does. with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable Imagine resource. if you lived out of a junker car all like this. for your entire we life. You just, and you and equipment. all your family just lived we in a fleet of car, fleet of junker cars and can. RVs and things like that. I think Some you would know mechanics pretty well. That's kind of the point the she's making. Our original flight from the Geth. Which is 300 years ago. It's a long I time. can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three Actually, centuries old. Actually, a 300 year old spaceship doesn't seem that old to me, but that's because I'm used to things where ships can last for most millennia occasionally We've tried to make but in any real situation that would not happen killer. because they would become Go obsolete food, like instantly our own fuel. well not instantly but in but decades we just, just like can't normal make on our own. a patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we why just can't you have. get them That's and how is a pilgrimage supposed so to get you raw materials I want to know more about the get I would always I like I to know more about the get because the get are pretty cool it's been almost three centuries since they drove and my people into exile. Obviously. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Remember the difference between uh, VI and AI here. It's pretty important. to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. Basically, How the difference the between a VI and an stopped. AI is that an AI this is actually self-aware and sentient. Um, I would say it's kind of like the difference between an animal and a... Um, the changes person. Were so insignificant, but it's so gradual, different than that we because be because them. animals are intelligent so in a thought. different way than a VI would be. But one thing we underestimated was the power. Because a VI can network. talk and understand uh, a technical stuff, but they can't understand more complex things, less ordered ordered things. So the Geth share brain power. This is not a game mechanic Many in any way, the by the way. It'd be really cool if it was, but as far as I can tell, Geth. nope. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So that, some that would actually be a really interesting game mechanic, but no, I don't like know that. how I would they implement it. Share Other than having, you could have several tiers of AI. Their programming cannot handle that like, much actual in-game AI, not for them. Um, and have it when there's less of them, they're and just identity. stupid. The neural network and they're really only smart when they're on a process based level. That could work. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. That doesn't But that's when odd. they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. Abstract is a hard One thing for a computer to get. began to ask its quarry and overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, 
but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self There are real, there are people that do that, but that's not all if they the Geth do. Were intelligent, then we were They're still people. Using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against us. Essentially, their using them as slaves. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. There's some a interesting morality in that question. All Quarian controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this. How did they know about it? Shouldn't you be able to just hit a button and turn them off if you're the overseer or whatnot? You didn't really think they'd just let you destroy them without a fight, did you? The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. That's a lot of Quarians, the considering we there's, they're probably measured in thousands now. We feared the Geth would Maybe a few million. Us, but they never came I think there's like 3,000 ships now on the Flotilla? No, space. it's more than that. 30,000? I feel like there's a 3 and a 1,000 in the name somewhere. Hours. Wow, that was just Geth. Tell me about your people. Oh, wait, Poker Mage is a short one, though. Easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million they don't have in the a flotilla, planet. and each they of have us to grow everything, the they have to make survival. their air, the bonds um, among my people any are raw materials they have to buy, find, or trade for. We have had to surrender so, many of the freedoms it's and not liberties easy for other them. species take for granted. What kind of and, of course, it's well, crowded. It's illegal for parents to have more okay, than that bugs child. me. If because that means every generation your population has, that doesn't work. Of Pretty much every uh, to too few. Uh, regulation like that, decline, where you can only have a limited number of kids, it's repeated. usually two. Because two, you have it decline, maintained. Incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. And then there's, of course, there's just the random um, accidents that kill people. It happens occasionally, especially on a ship. S run down spaceships, blow a hole. Is our everyone in that room government. dies. Each ship and every, can elect a representative if they don't close it down quickly enough, quite a few people die. That that kind the of fleet as a whole. On so I don't see how you can have people ship, limited however, to one per one kid per family. Say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected So basically, they're their still officially under martial law from 300 years ago? So the officially. ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The Seems five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the See, Admiralty. they're basically, um, and they can only do Bioware is basically giving us that, a entire, entire government full of, hosts. complete with checks and balances. That served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Except Board a, has only Basically, the difference the is there's no executive times. position. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people Not taking as long as I expected, but so long time. We leave our birth ships and seek acceptance this one's with a, a short new one. crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden But then, them. how so, you leave your family, that just bugs me. On a pilgrimage. Every adult just we leaves everyone they ever know and go to another ship. And our of course, I don't know how much intercommunication there actually is between ships. I'm sure there's quite a bit, fleet. but I don't know it's enough that you'd know a lot of people on a lot of their ships. Especially as just a normal person. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before You've we got to lose so many Corians on these, too. So, again, that and one per to help us on our journey. Per, one child per parent does not make sense. We also receive implants to fight all. off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment 
have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well See, equipped for the See, that makes sense, but this the is problem a is, um, any... If, it were dangerous, if you go to another planet, another inhabited planet, there will be sicknesses and diseases return, that you have no immunity to. Uh, it's a lot like what happened captains. when the Europeans went to the, um, the Americas, and they brought diseases over and wiped out the Indians. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, except it would be even worse because possible. they would have Most you would have people taking to diseases to other planets, and they would have absolutely no resistance. That's something that hasn't really been touched on a lot because valuable, it's a problem that we haven't solved yet. However, there is a stigma of course, if it's a, a if it's a gift. planet that doesn't have much uh, in the way of growth, animals, plants, uh, just general biology, ecology, ecology. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I want to talk about something else. Like what? Like leaving. I should go. Um, I should See go. You later. Yes. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But it's a problem we haven't solved yet. So people and most people don't have an idea for how it would be solved so it's just not talked about that seems like a good way of handling things to me I'm gonna do a little more inventory management I can level up I just thought of that I can level up a waste I did not know that um let's see what to do what to do what to do sniper rifles should I do sniper rifles let's do some assault rifles first and some um, tactical armor so I can get the medium armor. Except I don't have any medium armor. You can have that. Um, the thing that bugs me is I don't see any way you can do... Um, I'm 15, okay. Uh, any way you can upgrade squads, squad members' abilities without leaving the ship. Let's see. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Mm. I don't think you can actually use those. Oh, no shotguns. I forgot about that. Um. The last one I have left? Physic rounds. And radioactive rounds. I thought it, Oh, wait, those are already in there. I'll just equip those there. Then I'll go through and see if I can have pistol upgrades for these guys. I'll probably use Tally before I lose Li use Liara, because I'm not a big fan of Liara. Anyways, um, I should be able to go just sell everything now. And then see if Looking for supplies? Buy anything. Shush. What are licenses? Why Wait, do I don't want to ask questions. Manufact Shush. I Many of the best licenses Just are. Give me stuff, or let me sell you stuff. Do I have remotely close enough money? No, I do not. I have twenty-three thousand about that requires one hundred fifty thousand. That's a cheap one. Um. Oh, I completely forgot about armor. I need to go do armor. Might as well. That's Caden, I don't want Caden. I want these two. That's a shield regenerator. Armor plating? I thought I had that. Oh. No, wrong button. Brr. Give me armor plating. Oh, I do have armor plating. That's weird. Now I'm just giving people random stuff. Because I might as well give them something. Oh, I should have given that to someone else. I'll mess with that later. Yay! Okay, there we go. 
Do I have enough time to sell stuff? Uh, not really. So, thanks for watching episode 22. Tomorrow, uh, I'm not sure what I'll do. Probably talk to Rex and Garrus after I sell stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, like it if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, tell your friends. Please, please tell your friends. I want more people. Um, follow my Twitter. If you have a Twitter, just follow me. Ask me anything you want. I'm on there all the time. Except it won't be this week. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'm saving, and I'll see you tomorrow.